Thank you so much to Fred Cole um, and to Senator Kennedy and uh, Assemblymember Rivera, who are also incredible champions of the importance of SUNY uh, in the legislature. I also want to thank Mayor Brown um, for his fierce uh, support of SUNY and especially this institution in which we're sitting right now. Um, I, I want to give a shout out to Dr. Floss and Tom Tucker, who are just amazing advocates for for the unit for UUP, and they're just such a pleasure to work with. They're incredible sources of knowledge in their own expertise, um, but they're also fabulous as representatives of the union. So, as a graduate of SUNY schools, I know firsthand how transformative it, a SUNY education is. Like millions of students across the state, SUNY provided me with the opportunity to enter the middle class. I'm a first generation college student. My sister followed in my footsteps, getting her degree from SUNY Stony Brook, where she is now a nurse practitioner, caring for pediatric patients in her community. Those doors were open to us and to millions of others because of the affordability of a SUNY education. You know, I don't say this a lot, but my mom, I, I'm, I'm also a fierce advocate of making sure that we have reduced lunch and continue to support those programs and supporting daycare. Why? Because I was a recipient of those programs. So, you know, SUNY has opened a door for me, and now I can open that door for the next generation of young people. That's why I fought so hard this past year to make historic investments in SUNY and CUNY. That's why I send my own children to SUNY schools and that's why I continue to teach at the state's only law school, the only SUNY law school in New York State, which is located right here in Buffalo and probably educated close to half of the attorneys in Western New York. This past year, we secured over $20 billion in total funding for higher education and over $200 million in opportunity programs, and we accelerated a planned elimination of the tap gap by two years. It's a good start, but it's not nearly enough. SUNY is the greatest public education system in the entire country. It is the envy of other states. Yet for far too long, we have failed to adequately invest. We forced program cuts, reduced student services, and increased tuition. Decades of disinvestment in this state is coming to roost, and we must reverse that trend. We are at a time in our country where we're focused on the high cost of education and the crippling impact of student loans. New York State should lead the way by funding affordable public higher education. And that means funding every SUNY school, not just a handful of flagships. It is no accident that SUNY colleges are located across New York State, in big cities like Buffalo, Binghamton, and Albany, and small towns like Fredonia, Geneseo, and Oswego. Those were strategic decisions that were made decades ago because the state recognized that placing those schools in the communi communities in which they sit would serve as economic drivers for those communities. They are a source of culture and art in their community, they are a source of jobs, they are a source of expertise on issues that arise in the community, whether it be housing or criminal justice or all kinds of issues. And I can also tell you that uh, from my, the credit card that I pay for my student, they are also a source of income in the community for the restaurants and the local stores that those students visit. I think my daughter is single-handedly trying to keep the economy of Geneseo going. <laughs> If we want to see those communities thrive and continue to thrive, we need to make sure that our SUNY system remains the pathway of the middle class for millions of New Yorkers. We must invest more resources and pass legislation to, to continue to support the state university system. By investing fully in SUNY, we ensure that educators and administrators have the resources they need to continue to provide a world-class education. And we will continue to ensure that we have the skilled, educated workforce to meet our state's many needs. So thank you so much, and I want to um, 
I want to thank my colleague, Assemblymember Rivera, for all of the work that he has done as well to, to bring attention to this very important issue. Thank you.